Come with me to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. So bring out your Bibles and follow along with me, please. Please, 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 please. Get used to taking out your Bibles and reading along. Just don't take my word for it. I want you to see it. I know that you can see it now on the screen, but bring out your Bibles. Get used to bringing it out. Okay. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. So what does slack mean? Let's look it up. If you don't understand a word in the Bible, perhaps it would be much better for you to look it up. The Bible would make much more sense to you. Okay. Slack. So let's go to definition number three. Slow, sluggish, or indolent. So slow. The Lord is not slow concerning his promise, as some men count slowness, but it's long suffering to us word. What does long suffering mean? Some may already know what it means. Let's look it up. Having or showing patience in spite of troubles, especially those caused by other people. So, patient. The Lord is not slow concerning his promise, as some men count slowness. Kevin, I have prayed about something, and it has been 20 years, and it seems like God has not answered what I have prayed about. So, he is really slow in answering my prayer. The Lord is not slow, slack, concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, as some men or women count slackness, as some men count slackness. So it doesn't matter if you think that he is taking all day long to answer your prayer. This is saying that he is not slow concerning his promise. So, what you should do is have faith and continue to move on and think about other things. Okay. But is patient to us word, not willing that any should perish. So, usually when the Bible speaks about perish or perishing, it is usually speaking about going to hell having many bad things happen to you. But usually it is speaking about going to hell. So, but is patient to us word, not willing that any should go to hell, have bad things happen to them, but that all should come to repentance. So this is saying God does not want you to go to hell. Some people may say that God sends you to hell. Actually, if you think about it, you send your own self to hell when you choose to disobey God. We have to understand that God is king, king of all. If you can't overthrow God, if you can't kill God, if you can't take the authority of God, why challenge him? Satan could not overthrow God. And without God, Satan is more powerful than you. So if a powerful being as Satan could not overthrow God, why would you join him and believe that he is going to do it after he failed the first time? Or if you are an atheist or whatever, which you are not really an atheist, if you can't beat God, why would you challenge God? It makes no sense. 
myself. Even if I disliked all the rules and regulations of God, let's say I disagreed with them all. Point being, if I can't beat God, if I can't war against God, if I can't win, it is foolish of me to challenge him, to disobey him. I pray that makes sense there. It does not matter if you like the rules of God. Oh, why did he let Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve eat of the tree and stuff like that? It does not matter. God can do whatever he wants to do. If if he wanted to kill half of us right now, so be it. If he wanted to do whatever he wants to do on earth, so be it. What can you do about it? Why even complain about it? Why even fuss about it? God is sovereign. You can't do anything about it. Just serve him. I pray that makes sense. If you can't overthrow God, if you can't beat God, why challenge him? It makes no sense. It should be common sense. If you don't like how God is doing things, how about you make your own world, you make your own humans, and make yourself God? Well, Kevin, I can't do that. Okay, then what other choice do you do you have? What is the most reasonable choice to make other than doing foolish things to disobey God, trying to show him that you are your own person or something foolish like that? My Lord. It's common sense. If you can't beat God, bow down. Submit. Submit yourself to God if you can't beat him. <sighs> he wants, he doesn't, he don't want you to go to hell. He don't want you to perish. He does not want to send you to the lake of fire. But if you choose to disobey him when he holds all power, just serve God. Whether you love God right now or not, serve him. What other choice do you have? Fighting against him is foolish. It is silly. Because you can't win. All you are going to do is hurt yourself. You think you are hurting God? Yes, you may be hurting God because he loves you. And he doesn't want bad things to happen to you. But you are really hurting yourself a lot more. So I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless.